In the last few videos, we talked about how to multiply and divide with radicals. But next question we want to address is how do we add or subtract them? Um, and really, it's actually a bit easier because the, the moral of the story is unless they have the same root, you can't add them together in any simplified fashion. So let's say, for example, I had the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3, um, just, just to sort of start off with an easy one. Basically, those, those numbers have nothing to do with each other. That will not make the square root of 6. They will not combine in that fashion. So basically, what algebraically speaking, I would just leave them alone, and that would be my answer. I don't do anything. It's sort of like, I like to think about it a lot like combining like terms. So if I'm trying to do x plus y, x plus y don't add because they're not the same thing. So the only way we could add them is, say, for example, I had the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2. Um, those could be added because it's sort of similar to the situation x plus x. Those are the same thing. They're the same radical. I often like to call them like radicals, just like like terms. And so just like how x plus x makes 2x, root 2 plus root 2 would make 2 root 2 because it's a sum of the same piece. Um, so, you know, like looking at a couple examples, say, for example, I had 3 times root 2 plus 11 root 2, those would add, uh, and it would be is exactly the same as combining like terms. So I, I kind of imagine in my head, this is like 3x plus 11x, so this would make 14x, 14 root 2. And again, notice that the roots don't change, only the number in front changes um, as an equivalency. Or say I had 4 root x minus root x, that would just be equal to 3 root x. Um, or I had an x rad 11 plus 3x rad 11, because I, I could think about the coefficient, I could think about it as a coefficient and combining those together, like with the distributive property that would all multiply into a singular rad 11. And really x plus 3x is 4x, so this would just make 4x root 11. Um, so there's some that you can try for yourself. Again, the same sort of principle applies to roots of all indices. So in this same example, it would work exactly the same. Now in other times, as I said earlier, if they're not the same, they won't add. But sometimes if we if we can simplify them, we might be able to simplify them down to a root which has the same uh, the same radicand. Like for example, root 18, uh, that simplifies because it's 9 times 2. So there, we could rewrite this as rad 9 rad 2. Or again, that would be 3 root 2. Uh, similarly with root 50, that's 25 times 2. So I could rewrite that expression as 5 root 2 based on simplifying. So like my point is if you simplify each component first, now notice that they actually are like radicals and I can go ahead and add those together, leaving me with 8 root 2, the final sum of those radicals. Um, so in general, like looking at the next few, it says simplify them if possible. Basically, uh, what I would do is first, before you do anything, simplify each of the radicals. If those do simplify, um, you might be able to add them together. If not, you can't. Um, like for example, with number seven, that one will not simplify because 11 and six don't simplify. 11 is a prime number. You can't break that down. Six is two times three. There's no perfect squares in there. So here you want, you just, there's nothing you can do. Don't try to add them together if you don't know how. But like with this one, since 20 is 4 times 5, this would be, uh, and also just to sort of mention if there's a number out front, you know, we could simplify this as 3 times root 4 plus times root 5. And 45 is, an another trick is that once you found simplified the first one, if it will work, the second one should have the same non-perfect square. So basically with 45, that's 5 times 9. Notice that they both would share that root 5 but root four and root nine will simplify. So this would be three times two, which is six root five. And the second one is eight times three, which is 24 root five. And ultimately we would get 30 root five as the complete combination of those. And summarizing, you can only add them together if they're exactly the same.